The aorta is the main blood vessel that carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Like most arteries, the aorta is elastic, which allows it to be filled with blood under high pressure. An aortic aneurysm is an enlargement or bulging of the aorta, in which the artery wall weakens and expands like a balloon. There are two main types of aortic aneurysms, thoracic aortic aneurysm, which affects the sections of the aorta in the chest, and abdominal aortic aneurysm, which affects the lower part of the aorta, which extends through the abdominal area. If an aneurysm becomes too large, it may tear. This is called a dissection. An aortic dissection is extremely dangerous and can cause life-threatening bleeding. The most common symptom of a dissection is sudden pain in the chest or back. Aortic disease is a term used for both aortic aneurysm and dissection. The risk factors for thoracic aortic disease include age, aneurysms are more common among older people, male gender, high blood pressure, smoking, weightlifting, atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, certain illnesses, and having a bicuspid aortic valve, a heart defect in which the aortic valve has two leaflets instead of three. There may also be a genetic risk for aortic disease. This means that the risk is inherited, that it runs in the family. One in five people who have thoracic aortic disease have a family member who also has it. Genes are the instruction code of our bodies. Changes or mutations in this instruction code increase the risk for disease. More than 20 genes are known to be involved in hereditary thoracic aortic diseases. People who have certain genetic changes have a higher risk for disease regardless of other risk factors. For instance, some people with genetic causes for aortic disease have connective tissue diseases such as Marfan syndrome. Connective tissue provides a framework to support many parts of the body, including the skin, bones, eyes, and blood vessels. People with hereditary connective tissue diseases have weaker connective tissue. Aortic disease can also be caused by genes that make the smooth muscle of the blood vessels. People who have aortic disease from smooth muscle cell dysfunction often do not have connective tissue features, but they may be more likely to have been born with a heart defect. It's possible to have an enlarged aorta and not know it. That's why it's important for family members of someone who has aortic disease to have their arteries examined with cardiovascular imaging, such as an echocardiogram or CT scan. In addition, genetic testing can help identify people who may be more likely to have aortic disease. Genetic testing for individuals with aortic disease can identify those who are at a higher risk for dissection. Some people with hereditary aortic disease are at higher risk for dissection, a tear that develops in the inner layers of the blood vessels at smaller sizes. This is why surgery in people with hereditary aortic disease is considered at a smaller size. Genetic testing for individuals with aortic disease can help determine the proper timing for repair of an aneurysm. People with hereditary aortic disease usually need surgery at an earlier stage than people who don't have a genetic cause. Genetic testing for individuals with aortic disease can help identify risk for other aneurysms. Some of the genetic causes of aortic aneurysms also increase the risk for other aneurysms, including in the brain. If such a gene mutation is found, your healthcare providers can recommend screening to determine if any further treatment is needed. Genetic testing for individuals with aortic disease can help other family members understand their genetic risk. Family members who have a genetic test learn if they have an increased risk to develop an aneurysm. People who should consider genetic testing include those who have had an aortic aneurysm or dissection at a young age, have had several aneurysms or dissections, have two or more relatives who have had an aneurysm or dissection at any age, or are suspected of having a hereditary connective tissue disorder. How accurate is genetic testing for aortic disease? We currently know about 30% of the genetic causes of aortic disease, 
more genetic causes will be found in the future. Please be aware that a negative genetic test does not mean that there is no genetic risk. Even if genetic testing is normal now, family members should all undergo imaging of their aortas. If you have any questions, please ask your caregivers. And thank you for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care.